hi guys welcome to this new video and uh, I'm saying it's tutorial 3 building a new Desmos activity with some special features and uh, we can say this is the actually introduction of computation layer which is a great feature of this platform Desmos activities using these act uh, features actually will make your activities more engaging and uh, you can track students performance you can send them feedback and you can see on the live lesson what students are doing correct or incorrect so there is a setting button you can see on my screen we are going to use a lot so let's get started with this so first of all you need to go to your teacher.desmos account here okay so this is your page where you can see your home I can say it's my home page so on the right right corner look at it's my name here if I click here there is a Dasmos labs so we need to click on Dasmos labs make sure you have a computation layer tick on if it is not on you cannot use those features so do this and come back to home page okay and you go to custom on the left side I'm showing you custom and you can create a new activity here okay so here so create a new activity you can give a title to your activity and then we can start building those slides so let me take you to the direct way okay so here so few things I have already told you what we are going to do today for example we'll create one slide with some equation like solving equation in X and students will enter a number like the answer of that equation is a number for example X equals to 3 or 4 and teacher will see the tick mark or cross on their dashboard so we can you can see that if you see the preview of that page then we'll see some graph we'll see some card sorting activities so let's see the first page you can see now this is actually uh, one equation and if a student is typing here uh, for example three or two or wrong answer or right answer so we can see for example if a student is writing two we can see there is a cross here so that cross and if a student is typing correct for example the answer for this question is four see the teacher can see the tick sign okay and then the student can go to next slide like that so what I did in this let me read for you and then you can start so it's very easy what we have to do we need to press this setting button so I have used two components in for that first slide one is note and second is input with math option not the text I'll show you enter your question in note okay and then insert input with math option and then we are going to hit the setting gear shown in the image of input you may rename it for example input 1 and then we'll type some codes here are the codes I'll attach this activity in the description so you don't need to worry you can just copy these and paste so let's see what we can do here now I have a blank page so this is the blank page so as I told you I'm using note so this is the note graph table etc these are the few things so we are going to use only note and input okay and in the note I'm going to type my equation and that equation I'm going to type in math so I, I have entered one equation in the note and make sure the input box which we selected already uh, you can untick this and click on FX math option so that student can enter a number in a mathematical way 
what you have to do now these are actually labels for example you can see sorry unlabeled note unlabeled math input for example I'm going to give this name as input input number 21 for example okay so this is my input 21 and I'm going to give this code here in the setting button so look at the setting gear click on it this screen will appear okay and here I'm going to write there's one simple code I'm going to use today it's correct which can show me as a teacher that a student has entered correct answer see I'm not going to talk about these words sync source so because uh, I know we are not programmers but we are going to use the features only so correct is the command it should come up in green with semicolon and then I'm going to enter the number of my name of my input for example I used input 21 21 wasn't there okay if it is not there then it won't reflect so make sure you name it correctly if not we can just type this so this dot because it's a numerical value so I'm going to write this numerical value equals to the answer for that question was I think two whatever answer it is so you can just type that number and there should be no warning sign no red lines when you are done so click it yeah the answer should be two so what we can do now we can go to preview see that's how a student will see and that's the dashboard preview for teachers so a student will see here okay solve to x plus 5 equals to 9 so a student will enter okay two see it's a correct sign if student by mistake enter three by mistake you can see on your dashboard it's wrong and you can send the feedback so that's how very easy let me show you again what I did simple use note type your equation enter your input okay and then go to settings this green now it appear green otherwise it's gray so you go here correct this numerical value equals to 2 finished so first coding is done and you can reuse it again and again for different questions so let's go to the next one so that we can practice more second thing what I have here I have a graph and uh, I have actually taken a line with some points labeled on it and I want to ask my students what is the slope of this line gradient slope or y-intercept make sure you ask this question in a single number okay because today I'm going to talk only about numbers so for example here the slope is uh, 3 minus 2 is 1 and 1 minus 0 is 1 so it's 1 okay so what happens actually when you type the answer the line will appear on the graph so this is good for students to assess themselves okay see if 2 is not the correct answer we see the cross sign here as a teacher and student will see the line is not overlapping the blue line but when a student enters correct answer it will overlap the line in this way student will know okay my question is correct and teacher can see okay there's it's not wrong so teacher can go on as mentor so let's see what I have done what I have done out of five six options I chose two one is a graph second is input okay so on the graph let me show you what I have done you can just type fx as x plus 2 simple as the original function which because uh, you are going to overlap it whatever students is going to enter so these are not required maybe you can just skip them just enter this y equals to let me show you here so y equals to m because uh, m is the number which I'm going to ask my students okay so I'm going to write here m and then x plus because of 2 because I'm not asking other things I'm just asking the slope so whatever you are going to ask use a letter a number like 
but do not hit this button add slider okay it should remain like this so don't add slider leave it as it is and done go to input sorry before you go go to setting bar of graph and define your number so a number m and input to the input where student is going to enter so it is input to dot numerical value again done now for correctness correctness again correct so if you type correct I am using this feature actually function evaluate you don't need to do that but you can just do uh, correct I will show you in the next slide don't worry so we do the simple one <laughs> okay so let me show you from the beginning what I did in this graph I entered my function for example uh, uh, x plus 2 let's say 2x minus 1 is my line and I want to make it dotted okay so it's dotted now you can change the color if you want okay let's say it's blue great now the next thing what you're going to use type y equals mx minus 1 because we are just asking 1 m don't hit add slider button okay so once you're done you can insert your input bar okay so I inserted the input and graph what you have to do now you need to go to the graph settings here and type the number we want to define see you, you type a number you, it will appear number what was the number m what is it actually it's actually in the input for example input number five i'm going to give this name dot numerical value numerical value okay since it is not typed already that's why it's a warning sign let me type here input 5 and it will go away input 5 it's small i think here yeah, that's the reason input 5 okay so here we can go back to correct it input 5 see input 5 is here very good dot numerical value yeah why it's not appearing because we haven't chosen the math option so yes it's correct now we can go 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 back and input 5 dot numerical value okay done and here for correctness you can go here and type correct as I said before and just type input or this this is okay you don't need to define it all the time this dot numerical value what is on our answer that is 2 the gradient is 2 actually okay fine done preview that's the line student will enter the slope so you can enter in the height uh, heading the question so if a student will type 1 the line will appear not correct two yes it is overlapping and teacher can see there's no cross so that's how we should do it i believe if you just practice these two that's more than enough and then we can talk in the next video the other features thank you